This is an amazing machine, one of my favorites. Every one of your Valiant frames, any uh, of your original Boss Reel frames, and all your turn frames for sure are all done here. Makes out a solid bar, little pucks. The robot loads it in the, in the chuck here. It does all the internal work on this part. So it comes over here, it cuts all the windows out. It comes over and does the base foot. The machine does everything in one shot. These are all the different size frames. So I can go, I can go from this big one here, the 1000, to our smallest one, these little 300s. And the robot works great too. We, what we do is we load all the bar stuck here and then it loads it in the machine. Runs unattended, you know, it'll run unattended for 24 hours, no problem. Great machine though. So watch, I'll show you another one. We have a whole bunch of these, by the way. We have like three of these machines in the shop. The only difference is it's not doing frames, it's doing spools. So it takes a piece of bar stock like this, right? We're all done, this job just finished. It did this, when I was at lunch, it did all these. I set it before I left. So these are the, this is the 800 spool. We have to hold five tenths on this bearing diameter right here, that side, and the run out from the bearing diameter to the outside diameter has gotta be within two thousandths. So this thing does it all day long. No, no problems. Oh, this is a good one. This is a cast control for the, for the turn reel. So this is in the raw state, so you can tell there's a little bit of burrs. We'll clean those up when it goes into polish. And you see these little holes around the outside? We assemble little pins in there, and then little weights go on the pins. And so when you cast the reel, and the spool's going a little bit too fast, it's overrunning, those little weights come out. They can centrifugal force forces the weights out, and then it slows the spool down. It's a critical mechanism for the cast control. Part of the secret. John, we go all day with this shit. We're doing a setup on this machine right now. This is a seven axis Swiss screw machine. So highly complicated, many things going on at one time. But we're making this little gear shaft. Their main gear goes on top of here. Your anti-reverse bearing goes on here. So this is like about a five hour setup. He's, got, he's putting all his tooling in the machine. And then what he'll do next, once he gets all his tools in there, you can see the programming here we wrote. And then if you go over here, this is the program for, this, for the, back, the back side. If you ever want to drive yourself crazy, learn how to run one of these. So there's another Swiss screw machine, seven axis, um, smaller machine. A lot of you guys will recognize this on your reel. You know, you would see this portion come out of your reel. You want to go to the low gear, you would push in, and then you'll go back into high gear, it goes back out. So this is a screw that supports it. So you can look at this part, you can see on it, it's got these threads here. So there's a tool that threads it with a little threading tool. Then it drills the hole, puts a little break on the inside. It does this hex around the outside. You can hear that right now. End mill goes And then what it'll do is it comes over and it grabs it. And then a tool comes over and cuts it off. That's what it's doing right now. Made in America.